Welcome to Sword Games with Steve and Connor. In this four-part series, we will be going through some of the competitive drills and games which will be used for practice at Buck's Historical Longsword. In this video, we will look at some drills focused on attacking and parrying. Let's get started. First, we have the direct attack drill, devised by Adrien Promele. The first fencer takes the role of the attacker, the second the defender. Without moving, the attacker makes a direct strike to the defender's head, which the defender attempts to parry. If the hit lands, the attacker takes a step back. If the hit is parried, the attacker takes a step forward, and the drill repeats. The purpose of this drill is to develop your direct attack and determine the distance at which it is likely to hit. If you are still unable to hit at very close distance as the attacker, you may need to isolate your cutting movement to make sure you are sending the sword to its target as quickly as possible. In the second variation, a preparatory step is added before the attack. The attacker may also attempt a shallow hand attack to punish premature parries. In the third variation, the defender may attack into the attacker's preparation. That is, they may attack while the attacker is in the process of making their preparatory step. However, if they are late and both fencers double, priority goes to the attacker.
In the fourth variation, the defender must finish with a repost after making the parry. All rules of previous variations still apply. In the parry repost drill, both fencers stand in distance and take turns performing parry repost. The goal of this drill is to develop the ability to defend against strikes from various angles and immediately strike back. Start slow and build up the speed of the drill as appropriate for you and your partner. You may also start by limiting acceptable target area. In Defend the Wall, the first fencer takes the role of the attacker, the second the defender. The attacker throws five attacks in a row while the defender may not step back. The attacker succeeds by landing a hit, the defender succeeds by parrying all five. The purpose of this drill is to learn to defend against multiple successive attacks. Like the parry repose drill, you may have to start slow, especially if using padded sword simulators which allow slightly faster movement than steel fetters. Start without feints, but you may allow them if both partners agree to it.
In the second variation, in addition to parrying all five attacks, the defender may succeed by landing a hit of their own. However, the attacker gets priority in the case of a double hit.